Wow, this is getting a lot worse than I thought, man. Uh, hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Wrestling with the Apester. I am the Apester himself, of course, and man, I had to make a second part about this, man, because between the last episode, talking about what's next for Cody, and now, whew, the internet is on a frenzy. There is literally a movement going on right now, hashtag, uh, we want Cody, and... I guess WWE has plans to unify the titles at SummerSlam and and The Rock's doing this for the politics and all that. But I wanted to really give you guys my my take on it, on what I think uh, is going on here, what I think is going to happen, uh, all that kind of jazz. But um, I need, man, I need to go on Twitter first. I really need to see what's popping here on Twitter. I got I this place is in a in a frenzy right now. It's literally, it's it's so much worse than I thought. It really is. Um, I kind no, oh, sorry, my phone just went off. Uh, and I kind of sort of figured that this was gonna happen. I figured that this was gonna happen, but I didn't think they were gonna start a movement of sorts. I did not think that they were going to start a movement. So I gotta real quickly make an account here for for Twitter. I used to have a, a, an account, but I got rid of it. But just for this, for the sake of this whole situation here, um, no, nah, you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna make an account. No, f- fuck Twitter. We don't, we don't need this crap. I, I, I'm calling it Twitter because it's not X. I hate the fact that it's called X. I don't know who came up with the idea. I think it, you're, you're, you're stupid for that. Whoever came up with that idea, but uh, I'm gonna call it Twitter. Uh, so if I say Twitter, uh, you guys know what I mean, obviously. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be talking about, um, this whole We Want Cody thing going on here, and it is absolutely just insane. The video that was posted from SmackDown apparently has reached over 400,000 dislikes. Guys, 400,000. Apparently, WWE re-uploaded another video, uh, without... Cody Rhodes' sad look on his face. Um, yeah, it, literally, quite literally. Uh, which is crazy to me. Which, which is crazy because they're completely just like shrugging it off. Which, oh, right here, here it is. Cody lays out WrestleMania plan for Roman Reigns. Let's go ahead and click on this and see it real quick. I'm just going to see real quick. Finishing. The story. Let me see real quick. Did they? They actually did. They cut the whole part. Of, so The Rock makes his entrance, right? All of a sudden, it cuts to The Rock and Roman face to face in the ring. They literally cut the part out. But here's the full. I got the full segment right here. About how, I know people were, were seeing, or they were saying that there was a bunch of dislikes here. I just can't tell. How do you? How are you able to tell how many dislikes are here though? That's the thing, because I couldn't, I wasn't able to do it yesterday. Uh, I am one of the people here that actually disliked the video yesterday when I made this podcast. But uh, right now, as of this small, it is number two trending on YouTube. Holy shit. Uh, It's the full segment, The Rock Steps to Roman Reigns on the Road to WrestleMania for SmackDown February 2nd, 2024. Um, Currently, it has 4 million and and counting, 4,277,802 views. And over 400,000 of which, 400,000 dislikes, over 400,000 dislikes. Right now we're at 101,000 likes. And apparently we're we're, uh, we're at like 400, 400 and something thousand dislikes. Which is a 300,000 dislike difference. My goodness, that is absolutely mental. Um... And you hear me you heard me mention earlier, I guess WWE is looking to change the plans somehow. I don't know how the hell you can change this, to be quite honest with you. Um they sunk themselves into a deep hole with this. I mean, I don't know what I mean, I, I honestly don't know. So a lot of people are uploading videos like our fans overreacting and stuff and all this other stuff, like and saying why this was a bad move, why it was a good move, because of the Vince scandal and Brock and, and CM Punk are not going to be at Mania and all this other jazz and all this other stuff. Apparently, The Rock is getting booed and 
he wa- he actually wants to win the title at WrestleMania and dethrone Roman Reigns, which if I do see that, by the way, I'll be all for that, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I am sick and tired of seeing Roman Reigns hold the fucking championship. I am so sick and tired of seeing that piece of shit hold that fucking championship. So if The Rock actually does go on to face Roman at WrestleMania... All power to The Rock because I want to see him take that title away from him because I'm sick and tired of Roman holding that title. Period. Point blank period. However, I just do not like the fact that uh, The Rock just pushed Cody aside and said, Hey, those back-to-back rumbles, you want them for nothing. I'm just going to push you aside here. You can go, you know, you you can go do it some other day. But WrestleMania, he's mine. Like, no. By any means here, the anger is not thrown at Roman. Which actually had me thinking earlier, like, what if they're doing this to put all the anger on The Rock and kind of make Roman the baby face here in this scenario and make people want Roman to retain at Mania? I wonder if that's what they're doing, maybe? I mean, apparently The Rock said he wanted to save WrestleMania, quote-unquote. You can't see me doing the air quotes, but he wanted to save WrestleMania, but do me a favor, Rock, to save WrestleMania, why don't you stay away from it <laughs> and have Cody just finish the story? I think that would save it. You don't. We don't need The Rock at WrestleMania. Don't get me wrong. This is a match I really want to see, Rock versus Roman. But the problem is that it is timed so badly. Um, th- it, so in this case, we should have had Cody finish the story last year. Cody would have been WWE champion, whatever, you know, he finishes the story. And then this year, The Rock comes in with, this is Roman without a title now. The Rock comes in and we get that giant ovation, you know, we get that Rock Roman stare down and that's that. Or hell, we could have even done what we did with Triple H and Undertaker. Back to back returns. Roman Reigns returns for the first time since being, being beaten at WrestleMania last year against Cody. Roman returns, all of a sudden The Rock comes out, they both stare each other down, there's your WrestleMania 40 match, Rock versus Roman. Boom, without a title in hand, might might I add. So that would have been a lot more interesting, but that's if we had taken the route of giving Cody the championship last year. It's too late now. Cody lost last year, we can't do that now. Now, all of a sudden, we're just pushing Cody aside to put Roman and in in, in Rock in the main event of WrestleMania. I understand this is going to draw big money. And that's why they're they're going with this route. That's one of the reasons why they're going with this route. But uh, I just cracked my finger today. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, but I understand. And I understand it's going to be a huge money draw. And at the end of the day, they're going to draw a lot of people watching this match. Because it's a big deal. Rock versus Roman. This is what all, everybody's been wanting for years. All of a sudden, WWE gives it to us, and we don't want it. Why is that? It's because it was badly timed, and the way they did it, it was bad. Cody won the title, and he said he wanted Roman Reigns. He pointed at him at Royal Rumble, saying, I want you. All of a sudden, The Rock comes in and says, hey, step aside, dude. I'm going to take care of Roman. You You can take care of Roman another day. No, 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 no. That is all wrong. Why are we doing this? Why it doesn't make any sense whatsoever for the story and in the story we're playing just in general, not just Cody Rhodes' story. And and it's funny because I've been watching a lot of videos all day today about people's reactions about it, what they think, and uh, about this whole situation and all that. And I guess Bully Ray, uh, Bubba Ray Dudley, he commented on it and said, "Well, I think the story should end at Madison Square Garden." Because that's where it all started. And that's not a bad idea at all. I actually really love that idea. Having Cody finish the story at Madison Square Garden in any event. That could be a SmackDown. Hell, that would be huge for SmackDown. Cody versus Roman for the WWE Championship. And Cody finishes the story at Madison Square Garden. That's a huge drawing. Huge. But if we're going to put Rock in there, like, what was the point of Cody winning the Rumble? It was all pointless now. Uh, and I also want, so I also want to talk about the whole unification ordeal going on. I found out about this unification idea like 
I think it was like a couple minutes, maybe like an hour after I stopped recording the last podcast episode. So that's why I'm making this part two, because there's a lot of information that I've missed. And obviously a lot's happened in this past 24 hours since I made that last uh, episode. And I really wanted to address all this this stuff, man. And like address as much as I can and what I think is going to happen tomorrow on Raw, which, spoiler alert, they're going to hijack the shit out of the show. Um... I don't think they're going to be throwing trash in the ring or anything like that. I mean, that would be pretty awesome if we see that, quite frankly. But um, So this whole title unification thing, I am not all for that. I'm going to give you a couple reasons why I am not all for it. Number one, we just made the World Heavyweight Championship, or I should say, quote-unquote, revamped the World Heavyweight Championship last year. Because are we just going to sit here and forget that the World Heavyweight Championship never existed before? I understand they're trying to make it a new title because it looks different. The only it's say it's still the same World Heavyweight Championship. It just looks different, and it almost looks just like the original World Heavyweight Championship. So why are we trying to make this a completely different title? Obviously, it's not the same title Ric Flair and Triple H held, you know, or or Randy or or C or, 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 or CM Punk. I think it's even held the World Heavyweight Champ. I think so too. But uh, uh, John Cena, you know, The Rock's held that World Heavyweight Championship, you know. But nobody's ever held the World Heavyweight Championship that Seth Rollins is holding. I understand they're doing that. But one day, I feel like they're going to acknowledge the fact that it is still the World Heavyweight Championship. And that there's a lineage behind that title. You know, the only difference is that it looks different. Um, But yeah, the whole unification thing. Number one, they just made it last year. Uh, number two, that's the stupidest idea because they made the title because there was only one title and that was Roman Reigns and nobody could beat him. So they said, you know what, we're going to make a new title. Uh, third, third of third and foremost, why they shouldn't do this. Uh, quite frankly, I, I had it in mind and I just forgot. I'm sorry. I had a brain fart just now, but I just don't think this is a good idea to unify it. Uh, the, t- the the titles, because literally we just, so we just, let me see, it'll come to mind, I promise, I, I just had a brain fart just now, and I just forgot what I was going to say, uh, <laughs> so we shouldn't unify the titles, number one, we just made it, number two, uh, it's a stupid idea, number, oh, number three, we have a big roster, huge roster, to have a world heavyweight championship, just one, like, just one, just one title, uh, number four, what the hell are we going to call this thing? The WWE Undisputed Universal World Heavyweight Championship? Is that what we're going to call it? Can, can you look at That took me about five minutes just to say that. Okay? Uh, number five, what was the point of unifying it in the first place way back when in WrestleMania 38 with Brock Lesnar and Roman? What was the point of doing that if we were just going to make a new title just to unify it again, which... Would make it, which brings me to my sixth reason, which it would just make it make it stupid. It's just stupid because you made the other title for the other show. All of a sudden, you're just going to unify it, and we have world one three title belts in one thing, which I don't think we've ever seen that before. But it's just not a good idea. I do not like this idea. Uh, they should not unify. And here's another reason why they shouldn't do this at SummerSlam is because. At that point, let's say Cody, okay, let's say Cody wins the World Heavyweight Championship from Seth Rollins, which I will get into Seth Rollins versus Cody in a minute. Let's say Cody defeats Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Okay, he's the World Heavyweight Champion. Awesome, great. Finally, we get a new World Heavyweight Champion. Okay, nice. SummerSlam comes along, and we have Cody versus Roman. Cody finishes the story, finally, and beats Roman Reigns for the title at SummerSlam. Mind you, SummerSlam is, what, August? And when is Hogan, Hulk Hogan's record? Uh, let's say September, what is this, the end of September? Yeah, so we're going to build this title up all this time just for him to lose it a month before beating Hogan's record? That doesn't make any sense. So you might as well, he, we've made it this far, why not wait another month and have him surpass Hogan's record? I, and I understand that hopefully they don't do that and then have him lose it like the next night or the next pay-per-view because that would that would suck. And that's what everybody was saying about Gunther and his Intercontinental Championship that, oh, he's going to surpass Honky Tonk Man's record and he's going to lose it immediately. No, that's not... No, I, I love what they're doing with Gunther right now. He's the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion still to this day. He beat the record, what was it, September I think it was? He beat the record? 
and, and that's great that they keep and everyone's saying, oh, Chad Gable's going to beat him in the Christmas edition of Sm- of Raw. Like as much as I would love to see that, no, like like that just makes that if we do if we do do that with Roman. Or if we had done that with Gunther, I think it's a terrible idea because you only did that just to surpass the record and then you just take the title off him just like that. Like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Like, make make a legacy with it. Like, give it a re- – like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, just g- g- give Gunther a reason why he's the longest reigning champion, not because we wanted him to pass the record – but because he actually really is the greatest Intercontinental Champion champion of all time. In my opinion, he is probably the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time because of how long he's held it, and he's defended it many, many times. More times than Roman has defended his championship in three years. Gunther's already defended it more times in, I think it was one and a half, two years now already, which doesn't even feel like that. I feel like Gunther's been holding that title for like five years already, honestly, because how long he's been holding it. So this whole idea with the unification at SummerSlam, I'm not all for that at all. I'm pretty sure nobody is, to be honest with you. That would be the stupidest thing they ever done. Uh, therefore, it's number one. It would be stupid because we just made the belt last year. Number two, um, it would make Roman look stupid because he could have just waited another month and beaten Hogan's record. Uh... Number three, it's stupid. Number four, it's stupid. And number five, it's freaking stupid. Don't do it. For the love of God, do not freaking do it. Okay? Let me go ahead and discuss the Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. Now, everybody's saying, oh, uh, Cody Rhodes is going to go for Seth Rollins. Cody Rhodes is going to go for Seth Rollins. Cody Rhodes is going to go for Seth Rollins. Let me tell you something. I I mean, if if it does happen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you in just a second, but but if, if it does happen, but... I don't think it will, but I mean, at the, the way this is going with all this outrage right now in this, this woe movement and this, we want Cody movement. I don't think it's going to go in that direction at all. They're saying even a triple threat match, which I'll also get into that in a minute. But, um, I don't think the, whoa the, I don't, I don't think he's going to go after set. Um, Number one, it is a second grade championship. It's just one of those things, hey, you can't beat Roman and come after me. It still to this day feels like that. And I feel like it always will feel like that, to be honest with you. At least uh, for now. At least for now, it still feels like one of those championships where, like, you know, it's like, hey, like, you can't beat Roman? All right, come after me. It's easy. But... I don't know, I just don't like, I, I mean, I love how they brought back the World Heavyweight Championship, don't get me wrong, I love, absolutely love how they did that, they even made a woman's version of it, it's awesome, I just don't like, I mean, I hate the, I hate to think of it as like a, a, a secondary title, but it really is, it, it really, really is, honestly, Gunther's Championship is more of a higher, higher prize to gain than, than Seth Rollins' World Heavyweight Championship, I'm being quite honest with you, Hon- honest to God, um, but man, it, it, I, I just don't, I just don't like the idea of Seth versus Cody. I really don't. And if we do see that Cody is beating Seth Rollins, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But then, it, but then it begs the question, what about Damian Priest? He's the money in the bank holder. What are we going to do with Damian Priest? Or, you know, what we could do too, is have seen that we can play. This is a decent story. If, if we do go for Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. I think a good story to play out is if Cody wins, do not have Damian cash in on him and be successful. Have him fail the cash in. As much as I don't like seeing failed cash ins, have him fail it at this point. Number two, if Damian Priest does cash in, let's say Cody goes after Roman, right? Let's say it actually does happen. Cody versus Roman in WrestleMania. Or maybe a triple threat at Mania, which I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, let's say it does happen, okay? Let's say it happens. Um, now what? Now what are we going to do with Seth? Then what we could do is have Damian Priest schedule. Yes, I said I said that right. Schedule his Money in the Bank match. Have him schedule, or better yet, have like a, a, a thing at WrestleMania where Seth Rollins comes out, he cuts a promo in the ring, I don't know. 
One of those, like, because always at WrestleMania, we always get WrestleMania moments, right? Maybe it could be, like, a WrestleMania moment. Like, you know, Seth Rollins comes out, and he, he's not defending the title, but at least he's there. You know, he's there. He's just he's just having a good time. He's just there to have a good time. He's not there to, to defend the title or nothing. He's just there. You know, he's having a great time. And then, all of a sudden, he gets attacked by the Judgment Day. Out comes Damian Priest, cashes in on him, 1-2-3, New World Heavyweight Champion. That That's a decent idea, I'm not going to lie. I mean, that's a pretty shitty way of doing it. Like, with Judgment Day helping him, I mean, I feel like he should come out outright and just cash in right right then and there, have a impromptu World Heavyweight Championship match, and have Damian actually take it from him. Either way, one way or another, Seth Rollins needs to walk out of WrestleMania as a former World Heavyweight Champion. Seth Rollins needs to lose the title at WrestleMania. Point blank period because of his injury, because his back and his, his knees and his, his, his elbows and all this other, all, all this bullshit. I, I know he doesn't have an elbow injury, okay? But I'm just saying he, he's getting hurt by the week, like on every body part. Next thing you know, his legs are going to start going out. His arms are going to start going out. Next thing you know, his whole body's going to go out. He's going to pass out in the ring and then, and then you know, he's going to take, yeah, I, I don't fucking know what I'm saying anymore. Look, if, and now, here's another scenario we can do. And I think this is the better way of going with things. So, as of this moment, uh, Seth and Cody have a win-loss record. Cody is 3-0 and against Seth... Sorry, I, I touched the phone. Seth... Uh, or Cody is 3-0 and against Seth Rollins. In other words, Cody has defeated Seth Rollins three times in a row. Not only will it make Seth Rollins look bad if Cody beats him again, but it would ju- I, I feel like it would bury Seth Rollins in a way if we do it that way. So, what I think a good story would play, and if you do go for Cody versus Seth at WrestleMania, this is what they should do. Cody versus Seth at Mania. Have Seth Rollins defeat... Cody Rhodes, finally, three times, he beat, he, Cody beats Seth Rollins three times, but finally, Seth Rollins gets a win over Cody, he, he retains the World Heavyweight Championship, out comes Damian Priest, he cashes in the money in the bank, successfully, and he becomes the new World Heavyweight Champion. But at the same, oh man, I'm thinking about it now, but at the same time, I feel like everybody would would just shit on the match in general. Either way, they would shit on the match anyway because they want to see Cody finish the story. And it's like, oh, here we go, another year without Cody finishing the story. But then again, the story is not about the World Heavyweight Championship, it's about the WWE Championship. And what if, or or what if we play a story where Cody is like, okay, I want to win a, chi- a title my dad never got to win. My dad never got to win the WWE Championship, but he also never got to win the World Heavyweight Championship, technically. So if Cody wins the World Heavyweight Championship, he's the first first one in the Rhodes family to become a world champion in general. But thing is, what, what sucks about this is that the World Heavyweight Championship feels like a second-grade belt. It feels like a, a shitty belt. Like, the 24-7 Championship is better than this. So you're, okay, maybe, maybe it's not that bad, but... I, I don't know, and, and 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 let me talk about the the potential of a triple threat. So let me go ahead and and just uh, shift gears now into a triple threat. Now let's say this: The Rock versus Roman, and somehow Cody puts himself in the match as a triple threat match. Cody versus Roman versus Rock. Number one, that's a terrible idea because Cody is going to be overshadowed by The Rock and Roman. Number two, Cody Rhodes is going to be a third wheel in it. Like like I said, overshadowed. But he's going to be third wheel. I feel like it's the same thing, but you get the point. Uh, number three, Cody Rhodes is going to be the one taking the pin. Number four, uh, we all want to see Rock and Roman one-on-one. We don't want to see it in a triple threat. We want to see it one-on-one. Just mano and mano, the two of them in the ring by themselves. We don't want to see that. Now, there is a positive to this. If Cody does insert himself in that match and Cody dethrones Roman, let's say Cody pins The Rock. He's the champion. And on top of that, Roman can go undefeated. Well, not undefeated, but like he can go on his little record like, oh yeah, he hasn't been pinned since 2019, you know? Or have Cody 
pin Roman Reigns and that's that, you know? But I just, I still, I don't like the idea of a triple threat at WrestleMania. I do not like that idea. It should just be one-on-one. That's just my, 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 my opinion. That's what we should do. It's one-on-one match. Uh, sorry, I'm just setting things up here, by the way. But it should be a one-on-one match. Um, it should not be, I mean, and the only other thing, like I said, the only other option to do to go with here is having Roman Reigns on night one against The Rock. And night two, we have Cody versus, versus Roman. And Cody finishes the story. Or vice versa, Cody on night one. And Rock and Roman on night two. It's the only other option we can do here. I mean, rumor has it that WWE is trying to fix this issue as we speak. They're trying to see what they can do to fix this issue. And and that's kind of a big problem. Like, really, it it this is this is terrible. Like, you know. And right now I'm just going through I'm gonna go through my Facebook here and see if I can find any any other news here. On its official events page, WS changed the WrestleMania poster to a more generic one with nobody on it. Oh, they did, huh? So it looks like this picture here is Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar is on. Why is Brock Lesnar on it? That's a shock. Oscar Roman and Cody. Wait a minute, I think this is an old picture. Oh, this, oh, I see. So this is the picture that it used to be up here. Now, so I'm reading this from the Wrestle Talk page right here on Facebook. Uh, quote. On its official events page, WWE has changed the WrestleMania poster to a more generic one with nobody on it. Instead, just the date, location, and start time. The previous one, before it was changed today, featured Brock Lesnar, Roman, Cody, Bianca, Rhea, Becky, Seth, and uh, Asuka. Oh, by the way, WrestleMania will be starting an hour earlier than normal, which is pretty cool. Hopefully, we don't end the show off at, like, midnight. Um... Yeah, here's another. Here's what I was talking about. Here, here's another post. Uh, Cody Rhodes will be a double champion at SummerSlam. I don't think that's a good idea because you might as well just have Roman beat Hogan's record, which I hope that doesn't happen. But still, I mean, if it happens at SummerSlam, all power to him. I mean, cool. WWE are already discussing the idea of Cody Rhodes winning the World Championship at WrestleMania 40 and then winning the winning the unified WWE cha- Championship at SummerSlam, completing. And finally ending his story, which I don't like this idea at all. A lot of people, let's see the comments for this one. 624 comments here. Uh, they're all in Spanish. All right, let's see. That's some idiots. There must be separate champions with that quarterly sheaf unification. Proves to be a bad idea. Nope, not going to happen. They just did this in Roman with Roman and had to split the belts. They're, they're not going to do it again. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do it again either. I agree with this guy. Overthinking admin, wait, waiting. The time has come. Maybe uh, any one of this, uh, this is nothing. Um, yeah, a lot of people are making a big deal out of this. Uh, what's the, what's this? Look at this. Uh, breaking news here: Swifties are joining the "We Want Cody" hashtags. Uh, this after Cody Rhodes fans posted an old video of Cody signing Taylor Swift's song "Twenty Two." Cody fans are asking Swifties to join the movement by sharing the hashtag to help Taylor's music-loving wrestler, and his story at WrestleMania 40 against Roman Reigns. Let's remember that Swifties are a, hu- are a huge fandom, and last year they showed their power by joining Real Madrid fans to help Jude Bellingham win the Golden Boy, the Golden Boy Award that is given the most internet votes. Brutal. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's not just fans who are angry at WWE management. Roman Reigns versus The Rock are universally panned backstage. Yeah, a lot of wrestlers backstage are absolutely pissed about this. They don't like how this is happening. Here's another one. The Rock's WWE WrestleMania 40 hype post flooded by angry Cody Rhodes fans. Um, I even heard death threats about The Rock. And that's I, to me, that's pushing it too far. I don't care how much of a villain, how much of a, of a baby face you are. I don't care how bad of a man. I mean, I, I would not wish death on anybody. Hell, not even Vince McMahon. Even though he did a lot of bad stuff and he's declining it, I do not wish death on him. You know, I don't wish death on anybody. Not even my worst enemy. I would never, never wish a death threat on anybody, guys. I don't care who you are. I don't care. Don't wish death on The Rock, man. Like... Just for the love of God, don't do that. It's 
that's just not, that's just not, it's not very nice, all right, it's not very nice, uh, let's see, the people's nightmare, save WrestleMania, finish the story, hashtag we want Cody, yeah, I'm just reading through all this, this is insane, the way The Rock Johnson has responded to criticism, WWE fan- yeah, so The Rock actually did answer this, and he actually responded to this, uh, PS, tough skin, love the passion, yeah, so, so I'm going to go ahead and read this tweet that The Rock had put out. And he basically shrugged it off. He was just like, yeah, thanks for the moment on uh, uh, on SmackDown, all this stuff. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, WWE, all that. Uh, in an act of the fun. This is from the comicbook.com, uh, by the way. All, all power to them for making this article. In an act of defiance, the WWE Universe showed their frustrations with the booking decision by heavily disliking the segment on YouTube. Which is now WWE's most disliked video ever. And that's within 24 hours, guys. 24, 24 to 48 hours of all this happening. Yeah. Literally. Let's see. What, what, is, what is this video here? Villain or hero. Who is that for you? The next set of gear? Ooh. I feel like I've always wanted to I don't see know. Dude, Superstar talks about the Royal video. Rumble. Yeah, he's, that's not nothing to do with it. Uh, anyway, so let me go ahead and read that tweet that he put out. That The Rock put out talking. Uh, this is after the whole SmackDown situation, all that. Quote There's a word for this explosive, insane reaction. Undeniable. No matter the era, the decade, or the city, the energy and connection between the people's champ and the people can never be broken and is truly an electrifying experience that creates chills every single time. Thank you, Birmingham, Alabama. We made magical history in the magic city. Thank you, WWE, and thank you, Cody, for the love and the house. Dream and soul, ma- soul man. Roman, there's only one head of the table. I'll see you in Vegas, dot, 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 Uso. Um, so Thursday, they're doing this panel, I guess, about rest- the WrestleMania thing or whatever. So I guess we're- we all have to tune in and... Triple Threat, uh, or tri- Triple, th- oh my, Triple Threat, H- I said Triple Threat, Triple H, <laughs> he also basically shrugged it off and said, uh, WWE Universe, see you in Vegas, that's pretty much all he said, uh, on Instagram, The Rock added, quote, feel the mana, so fucking blown away by this insane energy from the people, undeniable, one of the loudest ovations I've ever experienced in my career, thank you Birmingham, Alabama, thank you WWE, thank you to the man himself, Cody Rhodes, and most importantly, thank you to the people, our connection is unbreakable, and our bond is electric, uh, people's champ, PS, tough skin, love the passion, yeah, so that's what The Rock said online, he said it on Twitter, he also said it on, um, Instagram as well, uh, WWE fans divided over The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Yeah, I, I don't blame the fans, honestly, for being pissed off about this. But let's go ahead and keep going through my Facebook here and see all the backlash going on here. Yeah, it's number one trending right now. We want we want Rocky. What? Apparently, there's people trying to... Apparently, there's people that want Rocky now. We want Rocky. What? Uh... I mean, I understand pe- people are complaining that, like, oh, you know, everybody wanted to see this match and WWE's giving it to them and now nobody wants it. Well, let me respond to that. We want the match, but it was bad timing. Cody won the Rumble. He challenged Roman. And The Rock just pushed him away. That's what makes us angry about it. Is that Cody was just pushed aside for some part-time legend to come in. We're going to see part-timer versus part-timer for a part-time championship. And guess who's going to win that match? A part-timer. Yeah, that's right. That's like putting positive and positive and it comes out as positive, right? Negative plus negative comes out negative. Positive plus a negative is, I think, I'm pretty sure it's a negative, I think. But yeah, and, and give me a second. I need to open up the door to this game room because it is really hot in here. But all of a sudden, in my living room, it's like, below freezing but in this game room it is freaking boiling i don't know why try to open the door here let some fresh air here we go let the fr- i can already feel all the cold air coming in now jeez and this podcast is going on longer than i thought i'm gonna really try to shorten this down here more but uh even chris jericho posted on faith uh he posted an article here from web is i've never heard of that before the rocks face to face with roman on smackdown sets unwanted WWE record which okay we've already seen that Backstage news on negative reaction to The Rock. So this is from WWFOldSchool.com. All power to them uh, for this post, for putting this article up. 
Uh, as seen in the main event segment on SmackDown, Cody Rhodes said he's coming for Roman Reigns. He's not his Universal Championship or not a WrestleMania 40. We already know that. The American Nightmare then basically gave his WrestleMania 40 main event spot against Roman to The Rock. The Great One finally broke his silence, posting the following. Uh, which, okay, I already read that. Okay, I didn't think that it was just going to be repeated. I'm sorry about that. Let's just go back there. Uh, yeah, this is all over the place. I mean... In other news, uh, our truths uh, WWE posted a day ago. Enjoy our truths funniest moments. Let me go in the comment. How much you want to bet there's going to be uh, we want Cody ones in, in this in this one? Let's see. Do you want? Do you think we should, we'll see it right here? Yep, here it is. Sixty minutes ago, we want Cody. Somebody just posted it, and this is this has nothing to do with with Cody. Like this is all our truth. Let's see. Uh, anybody else post anything here? Uh, an hour ago. Yeah, not many, There's nobody posting anything about we want cody i don't see it here but um this guy this one guy right here we want cody yeah let's go ahead and click on this hashtag we want cody uh somebody texted me yeah uh yeah i hope you guys know the spoiler alert next or, or tomorrow night on raw um th- there's gonna be there's gonna be a movement it's i feel like tomorrow night on raw is gonna feel very different I, there's gonna be they're gonna hijack the show honestly they're gonna hijack the show they're gonna chant cody all night long i feel like that's what's gonna happen uh i texted my friend that just just now when he responded back he goes oh i know yep i know that's gonna happen because i told him i was like do you realize that tomorrow night's show is gonna be crazy because because the fr- is the frenzy with the whole cody situation and cody Rhodes is probably gonna get a massive pop when he comes out tomorrow i'm telling you right now all right, let me go ahead and respond to him. Uh, this is gonna be crazy. I can't wait to watch it. Here I am. Here I am texting on on Facebook, uh, on Messenger, on Facebook, on my on my computer, like an old man, because it came up on on the screen anyway. I was like, this is gonna be crazy. I can't wait to watch it. That's why I texted him just now. So, uh, yeah. So I'm looking at this whole we want Cody. Here's another person, a Wrestling Island post of this. John Cena returns to WWE as soon as he could, does nothing but put over talent, and truly loves WWE. The Rock returns after failing at multiple ventures, immediately exer- uh, exerts control and takes a deserving man's WrestleMania spot and cares only about uh, political rights. I believe it's PR, political rights. We want Cody. Hashtag we want Cody. Hashtag woe movement. Yeah, this is going on and on and on. WrestleMania 37, Roman Reigns could carry the title to Mania so that The Rock can challenge him there. WrestleMania 38, it has been so long since Roman has held that title. Let The Rock come back to shake things up. WrestleMania 39, he is now the undisputed champion. And match with The Rock would be legendary. WrestleMania 40, let Cody finish the story. WWE took the path of Roman Reigns against The Rock in the world in the worst possible way. Cody Rhodes is going big. We want Cody. Yeah, literally, this is something been going on for a couple of years now. They've been wanting to do this match and never got to. I feel like WrestleMania 39 should have been it to do so and then have Cody finish the story this year, maybe. But the way we went last year, Cody should have finished it last year. Honestly, he really should have. Um, yeah, man, this is insane. I mean, number one trending, we want Cody. We want We want Rocky apparently trending now. The Rock finished the story. All this stuff trending. Apparently, it's back and forth now. How is it back and forth though? That's what I'm trying to understand. Everyone's just going back and forth now. Like, I mean, and you can see on Cody Rhodes' face, man. He he looked devastated that he gave away the the spot. Now there's more. We want Rocky. What is all this? We want Rocky. As of four hours ago, we want Rocky's trending now. So let's see. Uh, fans of the Rock are organized on social media with We Want Rocky, but they haven't made much noise. Yeah, so uh, apparently as of four hours ago, We Want Cody, We are We Want Rocky has 1,925 posts. And hashtag We Want Cody, 202,000 posts. 202 thousand i'm pretty sure the cody one's gonna win here oh my god man like this is insane this is back and forth now 
Everyone, everyone's like, wow, getting support of his fans. I'm just reading through all this right now. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of the podcast reading through all this. Uh, the fans of The Rock have also woken up. We want Rocky versus we want Cody. I mean, wow, this is crazy. The Rock ends the story of, of the we want Cody chants. Uh, the we want Cody fans. Let's Let's see this. This is a reel on Facebook that I found here. Let's go ahead and uh come out here, <laughs> bow down, acknowledge me, apologize, and then let's move on. <laughs> Everyone's insinuating that that's gonna be the rock. That's kind of funny. <laughs> uh yeah, we want Rocky, we want Cody. I mean I mean I feel I watch this all watch this all go to shit at WrestleMania and Roman Reigns retains anyway, and then everyone's gonna Everyone's really gonna have wanted Rock at that point, but um, yeah, this is insane. I mean, I'm just going scrolling through all this right now. This I'm gonna go back to the "We Want Cody" hashtag here. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely insane. You guys already know my reaction to it. I already told you this should not be a triple threat at WrestleMania. There should not be a unification title bout. They should have never went this direction. They should turn this thing completely around. Have The Rock come out and say, listen, you deserve this spot more than I do. Take it. Take the spot. Finish your fucking story. That's what I think that should happen. Go ahead and combine last podcast episode and this one and put it all together into one podcast. This is probably the last podcast I'm going to make about this. This is, this is basically part two of uh, the what's next for Cody Rhodes. Uh, if you want to put it that way, I guess I'm just going to name it that. What's next for Cody Rhodes Part 2? Um, I should have made the podcast all together today. I should have just made it all today. Uh, but whatever, I added more parts to it is what it is. If there's a third part in it, I'll add it in whatever. But this this is an ongoing story right now. It's been trending since SmackDown. The second SmackDown ended. It has been a absolute trend. I woke up yesterday morning and it was starting to blow up and then I woke up this morning it's Sunday morning uh and I woke up and and Facebook was just freaking crazy about it every wrestling page that I follow was literally about we want Cody literally this is all over Twitter this is all over Facebook this is all over Instagram I see it on Instagram it's everywhere it's it's I think it's on Snapchat even maybe if I find it uh Apparently Cody Rhodes was was uh, at a live event and he gave a blind fan, I guess, a signed broken table or something like that, which is pretty cool to see as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I, I honestly believe uh, they should turn this around. Oh, uh, here's this guy's reaction, Jeremiah Knight. He. He says, Cody Rhodes should not wrestle Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, and here's why. Let me go ahead and click on the video here and see what he thinks uh, about this whole situation. Uh, Let me turn on the sound here. Last night, the greatest wrestling moment of all time happened when The Rock met up with Roman Reigns. But the people want Cody Rhodes. Hashtag, we want Cody is everywhere. It's number one in trending. But why does everybody want Cody Rhodes? Uh, Because it's been literally decades... And he wants his shot. But we all know that Roman Reigns is going to beat The Rock. We all know this. Because Roman Reigns is going to hold on to his title until 2025. So that what? He beat Backlund or Buckland, whatever his name. And be the number two. Bob Backlund. Of all time holding on to the belt. Or to beat even one of San Martino's Reigns. He would have to hold on to it for another couple of years. No. So yeah, Not let happy. The Rock come in, beat him, and then 2025, have Cody Rhodes take the belt off of him. I want Cody Rhodes to win too. However, I don't want Cody Rhodes to lose to him again at WrestleMania and then finally beat him at 2025's WrestleMania. What do you guys think about this? Last night, the great... Yeah, um, I'm pretty mixed about this guy's reaction. Again, this is um on Facebook. This is on fa- Jack. Okay, this is uh Jeremiah Knight on Facebook. He he made that video. Um, all power to him this video, but uh, yeah, I kind of agree with him, but at the same time, I don't. I do not want to see Roman Reigns hold it 
in 2025. I don't want to see him beat Bob Backlund's record. I don't want to even have Bruno Sammartino in the question in, in the conversation. Bruno Sammartino, Bob Backlund, and Hulk Hogan are the top three names in history of this company. I do not want to see a part-time bastard, Roman Reigns, come over here and just take it all away from these guys that work their asses off. Bruno Sammartino, let me just, for the record, I'm going to look this up right now, actually, as a matter of fact. I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove to you that Bruno Sammartino and Bob Backlund were... Fighting champions. Let's see. How many title defenses... I'm going to leave Bob Backlund for last because that one actually impresses me the most. Uh, does... Let's see. Does Bruno San Martino have? How many title defenses has he had? San Martino is the longest reigning WWE champion in history. I'm reading this off of Google. Some of the men San Martino's defeated against were legends like Killer Kowalski, Gorilla Monsoon, George Steele... Of course, it's record, 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 blah, 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 blah. San Martino successfully retained his title 653 times, including 62 defenses in Madison Square Garden alone. 62 just in Madison Square Garden. Roman Reigns is at, like, what, 55 right now? In three years? In all these other arenas he's been in? And Bruno San Martino defended it 62 times. 653 times he's retained it. Now, let me go to the more interesting one here, which I looked it up one time, and I was bewildered at this number. How many title defenses does um, uh, th- does Bob Backlund have? This one blew my mind. According to the, to the cagematch.net, Backlund has had a total of 800... 876 successful title defenses throughout his nearly six-year title reign. 876! Roman is off by, what, seven, what, 800 and some odd defenses out of that? Roman Reigns is over 800 defenses off of that. Then again, this is a six-year title reign. This is within six years. Roman Reigns is halfway through this, this six-year reign. Literally, Roman Reigns is halfway through it, the six-year reign of Bob Backlund, and has defended it 55 times. Or 54, whatever the fuck it is. I, th- I think I think R- Royal Rumble made it 55. I don't even fucking know. And Bob Backlund, 876. 876 title defenses. Absolutely wild. Wild. Insane. It's just... Now let's see. How many times did Hulk Hogan defend his title? Let's see this. Hulk Hogan's 1,474 day reign started on January 23rd, 1984. Like Backlund San Martino competed in staggering number of matches compared to Reigns. During his first 1,171 days as champion, he... Okay, here's another big number. During his first 1,171 days as champion, he defended the title 358 times. 358 times. Within 1,171 days. 358 times. Roman is almost... Roman's already surpassed that and has only defended it about 54, 55 times. Can you, can you, can you, do you see what the problem is here? Do you see the problem? That's insane. Nobody wants to see Roman Reigns retain at WrestleMania. Nobody, not, nobody. If if it's Roman versus The Rock for the championship, I want The Rock to win it. I don't give a fuck. Who, I've already said this and I'll say it again. No matter how bad this is, this whole We Want Cody trend is. If it is Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania and Cody does does his own thing with Seth or whatever the hell he does, then The Rock better beat Roman Reigns. Because I am sick to death of Roman Reigns being the champion. And I already know The Rock is going to be a part-time champion. You already know. We should already know this by now. But hopefully he'll be a better part-time champion than Roman Reigns ever was. 
So I'm ending this off here. That's the way I'm ending it off. I'm ending it off on an angry note. <laughs> I'm ending this off here. This is already going on way longer than I wanted it to. I thought it was going to last like 20 minutes tops. But man, that's already o- over double that time. Um, it's probably the last episode I'm going to be making about this whole what's next for Cody. If something else comes up and it's really urgent, I'll probably make another one. And I'll bring it up. Or maybe my next time I upload... I'll bring it up at some point, but this whole thing with the, all this backlash and all this other stuff, um, it is insane. It is absolutely insane. It's blown up. Uh, WWE ruining Cody Rhodes' story backfired. It, damn right it did. Even Lo- hell, I forgot about this. Even Logan Paul, Logan Paul, even said we want Cody. Even low, I mean, then again, he could be exact. He could be saying we, we want Cody, like just as like a, like a, in a heel kind of thing, like we want Cody to go away or something like that. I don't know, some some stupid shit like that. I'm gonna be watching this video after the after. Um, actually, no, I'll put it in it's right. Really hard to make this video without sounding like a crying mark with you know. Yeah, so this guy's talking about. WWE, oh, WWE. oh God, that's really loud. Okay, uh, I'm gonna actually get this. So this this is from the Great One on YouTube. I'll be I'll be watching this probably after the podcast. This podcast is over. I'm probably gonna regret it because he's probably gonna bring up some good points. I don't know. Who knows? I didn't watch this video yet. But I'm gonna be watching it now. But uh, thank you so. Oh, somebody texted me. Sorry. Uh, thank you for tuning into this podcast. Really hope you enjoyed it. I know it was. It, this is basically like a part two, like an add on to the the Cody, the whole we, uh, what's next for Cody kind of thing. Um, so right now in this very moment, as we as we speak. I think what's next for Cody is that he unfortunately goes after Seth. Either he goes after Seth or um, he somehow inserts himself into the match as a triple threat, unfortunately, as much as I don't want to see that. Nor the Seth Rollins match, again. Or maybe he gets Roman night one or he gets Roman on night two or something like that. That's something I think I would really love to see. It's like I said in the last podcast episode. It's not the first time we've seen a superstar f- fight in two matches on the same night, and it is totally possible that they could do that. Uh, honestly, I feel like that's the only other option we can go for. But The Rock is going to have to bring up this hatred and be like, "Listen, like, uh, I feel like this was going to be a big deal, a bigger deal." We all in- wanted to see it, but it's clear to me, you know, that Cody finishing the story is a bigger deal. And I'll tell you what, I think we should have, um, I think, I think we should both go after, after Roman Reigns, you know, but I I don't know. I've already mentioned it in the last podcast episode. I'm not going to bring it up again. Uh, thank you for watching at the, in the bottom of the description here, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm going to be put, sorry, I hit my phone. Just, I just freaking tapped it. Um, Good thing I didn't stop the recording like I did last time. Uh, below, if you're listening to this on Spotify, you want to listen to the YouTube version, the link will be below. And vice versa, if you're listening to this on YouTube, you want to listen to the Spotify version, maybe you recommend it to a friend, your friend doesn't have YouTube or doesn't have Spotify, whatever, and they want to listen to it on the other the other side of things, you know, the link will be below. Wherever you're listening to it, if you listen to it on YouTube, the Spotify version will be in the description and vice versa. So if you're listening to it on Spotify, the YouTube version will be down below. Um... That's it for this podcast. I'm probably going to end it off here with this whole what's next for Cody Rhodes thing. Uh, this whole saga here. If there's anything else important I should add in, I'll make another episode or something. Or I'll mention it in the next episode or my next YouTube video in general. I'll probably bring it up. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. Oh, my Facebook page will be down below on both Spotify and YouTube. Uh, down below in the description will be uh, my Facebook page. That's where I keep uh, you, you can keep up with the latest episodes that I put up. Uh, I do not put YouTube video, latest YouTube videos on those pages. I, even though I should, I think, I think I should do that from now on. But, um, anyway, thank you for tuning in. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you, I recommend on Twitter, on, uh, Twitter. Oh my God. I recommend on YouTube. You guys put in the comments below. What do you think, uh, uh, about this whole Cody situation? What do you think? Are you guys happy? You want to see the rock versus Roman? Do you want to see Cody versus Roman? You want to see triple threat? You want to see title unification at SummerSlam? What do you guys want to see? What do you guys think? I want I want to hear what you guys think about all this. What's your input? I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to say we want Cody. 
Uh, I think I'm going to join the pack here and say we want Cody. I really do. I want to see Cody versus Roman, and Cody finishes the story at Mania. Um, I want to see it happen. I, I think I'm pretty sure it's not the first time we've seen a back to, the same match happen back-to-back -back Manias. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely correct on that. Uh, John Cena versus The Rock. And, and there's even, so speaking of that, there was even a post I saw of John Cena l loses at WrestleMania 28, but then he, but then next year he wins the title, uh, against The Rock, might I add. He beats The Rock, ironically enough. And Cody Rhodes... Could do the same thing. He lost at WrestleMania 39. But then again, he would have to come back at WrestleMania 40 and beat the story. If they do that. Yeah, I think they would have... Oh, wait, no. I think John Cena had been inserted in the mat, right? I don't even remember how it worked, to be honest with you. Honest, I, honestly, I don't remember how it worked. Unless we have The Rock versus Roman night one. Rock takes the title. And night two, Cody comes after Rock. And he beats him. And he finishes the story. I feel like it's a... Oh, then again, the, the whole... The Rock losing to Roman just to have Cody beat Roman. I mean, but then again, that makes Cody look like a wimp, you know? If we do it that way. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, maybe we should do Rock and Roman night one. And then have The Rock beat Roman. And then... Cody comes after The Rock for taking his moment, taking his spotlight, and he's challenging him for the next night on, on WrestleMania. Night two, Cody Rhodes beats The Rock, and that's it. But then again, that's a stupid title reign for The Rock, because The Rock didn't even get to come out on, on Raw or something to, like, hold the, you know, hold the belt. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wins it at Mania night one, and then the next night at Mania night two, he loses. You know, I don't know. I really don't know what to do in this scenario. This is a really tough situation. They're all, everybody's saying it's because CM Punk and Brock Lesnar are long, no longer part of it. I, feel, what, I don't know. I don't understand what Brock Lesnar has to do with it, though. Brock Lesnar was supposed to go up against Gunther. So I don't know what Brock Lesnar has to do with this. I, I really don't. What does he have to do with messing up Cody Rhodes' plan? I can understand CM Punk because CM Punk was supposed to go after Seth Rollins, but now Seth Rollins has no challenger. And now we have to give Cody uh, Seth, uh, or give Seth Rollins Cody... So that, And now, what we do with Roman, we do the dream match, and not only that, it's at WrestleMania 40, it's a big deal, it's a big WrestleMania, you know? I don't know, sound off in the comments below, what do you guys think? You guys already know my opinion, I'm ending this off here, I am done talking about this. Thank you so much for tuning in, and guys, go on Twitter right now, hashtag WeWantCody, let's go, let's do it. I don't care how many people hate me about saying that, I'm sorry, Rock took... Took the opportunity away. I don't want to hear, oh, but it brings in more money and it brings in this and it brings in that. Fuck you. We want Cody. Cody was screwed. Uh, he won the Rumble for nothing, basically for nothing. We want Cody. This shit is not going to die until we get Cody at WrestleMania. Let's do it, guys. Or an Elimination Chamber, but we everybody wants to see it at WrestleMania. But if we do see it in this Chamber, awesome, great. But guys, I'm ending this off by saying this. We want Cody, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Okay, this is my millionth time doing this, and I man, I'm going to make sure that this is the last time I do it. Okay, the last time I'm trying to attempt to make this last segment here in this episode, this last part. I'm sorry, I, there's something I forgot to mention here. But before I get to that, just 18 minutes ago, uh, WWE posted a video. Uh, and now, I, I, did I believe I told you that Cody Rhodes was in an, a live event in Knoxville. Uh, and Cody Rhodes went backstage and he got attacked. He got misted by Shinsuke Nakamura. Please do not tell me we're going to run this rivalry back. And if we do, it's probably going to be a chamber match or maybe at the Olympics chamber or maybe a Monday Night Raw. But man, I do not want to see this again. And mind you guys, mind you, I'm reading the comments and 90% of the comments, you know what people are saying? We want Cody. <laughs> and I cannot agree anymore. We want Cody. Okay, we want Cody. We want Cody. We don't want to see Shinsuke versus Cody again. We want Cody. Now, on to what I forgot to mention. I think I forgot to mention in the, the episode, but I'll, I'll put it in here again anyway, in case I forgot, or maybe in the last podcast. But WWE Creative is not happy about this decision. They have nothing to do with it. TKO and The Rock, the board of directors, of course, uh, they are over Triple H and over the creative control. They are the top dogs. They are the the boss 
in WWE. They whatever goes by them, what whatever whatever goes it goes with them. Like basically, they are. You know, like like Triple H can do whatever he wants, but if TKO says to do it this way, Triple H has no other choice. He has to say, "All right, fine, whatever. I don't agree to it, but whatever." So I, I, I I'm, it's rumored at least it's ru- it was a rumor. I don't know how true that is, but rumor going around is that The Rock is the one that came up with the idea, and that he thought it would draw a lot of money, a lot of poly. It would be good politically. It would be good for the company. He's saving WrestleMania because. CM Punk is injured when when all you could have done all you had to do was have Cody versus Roman and have Cody finish the story because Cody has nothing to do with Seth Rollins even though he won the Royal Rumble but he but he made it clear and evident at Wrestle at at Royal Rumble that he wanted Roman Reigns so why didn't we keep it at that and then have an elimination chamber match to determine who's going to go after Seth Rollins which the winner of that should have been Drew McIntyre should be Drew McIntyre. He goes to WrestleMania. He he wins the title in front of fans. He, he for the first time ever he'll do it in front of fans this time. He gets he gets his moment. Maybe have Damian Priest cash in. I don't know. Schedule a cash in and have it a triple threat match at Mania and officially scheduled. Or or you can have the heist of the century. Damian Priest comes out and he cashes in and he pins he pins Cody, even though it's bad for Cody, but he pins Cody. Just like Seth Rollins pinned the non-champion in the match, which was Brock Lesnar, I believe, at the time. And uh, he, he had the heist of the century. He stole it from Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns was the champion at the time. Seth Rollins, first person to do the he- pull off the heist of the century. And Damian Priest could pull it off 2.0. I wouldn't mind seeing that, to be quite honest with you. But... But I, but I feel like that would put a damper on things with Drew McIntyre at that point because, you know, like he's doing it in front of fans and then all of a sudden here comes Damian Priest to cash in. But still, at that point then to relieve it a little bit, I guess you can you would say make it a triple threat. But then again, that makes Damian Priest look a little weak now because he lost the, the money in the bank. And, and I can't tell you how many money in the bank cash in failures we've seen already in the past. But uh it's such a better feeling when you cash in and it's successful. But anyway, uh, I thought I would throw all that out there that the rock has not, or the rock, this rumored that the rock has everything to do with this. And, and also the rock is deleting negative comments. That's another thing. I keep reading new things. The more I'm looking at these, th- like, I'm just re- like, I'm waiting for the podcast to upload. And I, and I just keep finding all these things about, uh, about like this, this whole situation. And I can make a whole nother episode just talking about these things that I'm finding within the hour. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, this is insane. Like it, it just keeps going on and on and on. Efforts to remove Brock Lesnar for 2K24 underway. Jeez, I hopefully that has nothing to do with the defeat. The, the hopefully, like we have Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar in the showcase mode. I mean, which would suck if we don't, but whatever. But anyway, that has nothing to do with it. Um, but man, I just keep finding, uh, keep finding all this bad, this stuff that, and I just want to keep the more information I put in this, the better. Honestly, though. Well, I, uh, the more importantly, WWE Creative is very upset about this situation. They have nothing to do with it, really, quite frankly. I mean, uh, rumored, rumored. Again, like I said, rumored that The Rock is the one that came up with this decision. He is the head of the the, the table, literally. Uh, <laughs> he's the big boss, you know, whatever goes by him, whatever he says, it goes, it goes by him, you know, he's the board of directors, head of the board of directors or whatever, so... TKO agreed to it. They were probably like, you know what? You know, you're a big draw. You'll draw a lot of money. You're one of the biggest movie stars, if not the biggest movie star of all time. You're the most famous person ever in the world. So, yeah, we'll do it because see you know, how much money we'll make out of this. But, man, it's good now, but then it's not good in the long run because we're doing this match. Because why are we doing it? I mean, we all want to see this match. It's a dream match. Don't get me wrong. But it's it's only good in the moment. It's not good in the long run. We need to think about the long run. And I've already discussed this already, so I'm done talking. I promise you, this is it. Like this, I'm done. I, I, it, I, it, I might see more aggravated than than. I, I don't even fucking know. I mean, like, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, I keep deleting the segment because I keep finding new things. Of, I, I'm sorry, I hit my phone. I, I keep finding new things about this situation. It, 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 it literally. 
I, I keep finding new things. The more I go scroll through Facebook, the more new things I find, and I just delete the second segment and I just redo it again because it's that insane. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I promise you, this is the end of it. Um, thank you so much. And, and again, like I said, WWE uploaded that Cody Rhodes video a little bit ago with Shinsuke attacking him with the mist, it was shooting or spitting in the mist in his face or whatever. And everybody in that comments is like, we want Cody. So I'm ending it off with this. Hashtag justice for Cody. Share this with your friends, okay? Share it with your friends, your family, everybody you can you can think of. Share it on your Facebook page. Share it on Instagram, Snapchat, everywhere. Hashtag justice for Cody. Whoa, movement. We want Cody. That's right. I am supporting Cody. I don't give a shit what the Rock fans say. I love the Rock and all, but man, he took this moment away from Cody. Hashtag... Uh, hashtag woe movement, hashtag justice for Cody. We want Cody, and I'll see you guys next time.